I, I'm on a mission to, to, to have people not make the mistake that I did, thinking that you are somehow biologically immune to this, that just because you think you're smart or you know, you know someone that you're not going to, or you think you eat healthy and you're not exposed to toxins, that you, your biology can, can somehow not be impacted by this. And I want to tell you that is a delusion, an absolute delusion. You are damaging yourself. There's no way around it unless you're immediate with some of these strategies we're going to talk about. And you might be doing them and even not knowing it because if you don't know the mechanism, you can't remediate. What is microwave radiation? I didn't expand on this. We'll go, go back point. to the mechanism. Your microwave oven, obviously, we talked about. Your cell phone, obviously. Your cell phone tower. Your Bluetooth headset. Uh, any Bluetooth device. Any IoT, the Internet of Things. Your baby monitor. Yeah, those, your you Wi-Fi router, probably the biggest and most pernicious yeah. thing. Yeah, they're, 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 this is going to be criminal. Yeah. They're going to look back at this as like, we're, like we look at smoking now. It, Baby monitor, the most sensitive tissue, your brains, you know, they're exposing to this Wi-Fi. So you've got all this damage, and this damage, what will it do? It will cause single and double-stranded breaks in the DNA, in the mitochondria, in the nucleus. Uh, it decimates cell membranes and proteins. I mean, it's basically accelerating aging on steroids when you have EMF. In most cases, the microwave radiation exposure is more dangerous than x-ray. Interesting. More dangerous than x-ray. Because of the oxidative stress it yes. creates. Yes, it's the of oxidative the stress. The important point for, for listeners is just to understand free radicals are not good or bad. Bad free radicals are bad, good free radicals are good. Just yeah. like bad fats are bad and good well, fats are good. Well, it's not so much <laughs> bad free radicals, it's you need a certain baseline, so it's excessive free I, radicals. I is essentially industry conspiracy and it really is a conspiracy i mean they're they, i mean if you read the stories it's just as bad as the drug industry if not worse that they're suppressing this information they're, they're it's the same damn any any legitimate research that comes up is defunded and de that's disc true. discredited that, that's a fair point that is happening you know i realized a long time ago that uh, really the way we're going to get this is not by going to the government or you know, trying to change the law, that's not going to work. It has to come from the public. Mm -hmm. Public has to demand this and, and refuse to, uh, uh, I guess, relinquish their power to these authorities and, and rely on their belief that it's, that, there is, that the only damage is thermal, thermal damage. And that is absolutely biologically yeah. untrue.